Hey, and welcome back. This is the second to last video in this series for the Marvel Legends Iron Man Build-A-Figure Collection Ironmonger series. Um, this is the final base figure video, and then will be the the build for the Iron Monger, and then we'll just uh, do a quick review compare it to the other figures. Then we'll be done with this first build a figure series. So let's get started with this video. We have Iron Man Mark 42. Love this design. Um, I know there's some people that don't like it. There's a lot of gold on it. I think it's pretty cool. It's a change up from the traditional Iron Man where he has a ton of red on his armor. Um, so this is really cool. Let's get him open. Okay, so straight away, we have our blueprint. There you go. Okay. And we have the last piece to the Ironmonger. So, once again, set that aside. We will check on that at the end uh, for the final video. So, here is the Mark 42. Very cool design, right off the bat. Um, let's have a look at him. So... He's really nice looking. Side to side. That's nice. Okay. So let's start with the head as we always do for the Mark 42. So, of course, rotates all the way around. And how much front and back movement do we get? There's down. And there is back. So a little bit. Not bad. Uh, the shoulders. These pieces are connected, but they are a softer plastic, so they will move. The uh, shoulders rotate on a ball, and plus they have the hinge. And because of the soft plastic, you can get those up pretty high. So, that is good. Uh, do the arm swivel. That's not bad looking. Not bad at all. Okay. Four... The, sh the elbows, rather. Uh, double joint. Always good. See, it's a little stiff. But I know it wants to go. There it goes. It's one of those things you just gotta bend it a few times to get it loosened up. But it does want to go. So, yeah, now it's nice and loose. Or looser than it was. So that's pretty cool. The hands. One's a fist. Because you always have to have a fist. To punch people in the face <laughs> and then you have the open hand which you know can hold things grab things shoot the repulsor whatever you want to do your imagination is mostly your uh, restraint so pretty cool uh, let's check out the the torso the chest area good back and forth movement and a little bit of a rotation there side to side let's see how that looks very nice. Iron Man is uh, dancing right now, so that's good. No hip swivel on this figure. Um, so the Heroic Age Iron Man has the hip swivel. The uh, classic Iron Man has the hip swivel, and the Ultron has it. None of these figures have it. Not the uh, James Rhodes or the Iron Patriot or the Mark 42. So you get three that have it, three that don't. Kind of makes sense, kind of doesn't. Depends on your point of view. Anyway, back to the hips or upper legs. Um, these, wow, okay, very good. Very awesome splits on this figure, if you need the splits. But, you know, that opens up a lot of things you can do. For example, kicking someone Chuck Norris style. <laughs> so, that's pretty nice. You have the upper thigh that rotates all the way around. Very nice. The double knee joint, which is always good. As I say, I mean, I can't say it enough. It's always good. When I was um, a little kid back in the uh, the 80s and, or, you know, the, the mid to late 80s, maybe the early 90s, toys were different. I mean, we didn't have this type of articulation back then. So I love this. It's changed a lot. Um, so there's the knees. Let's check out the ankles now does this rotate this does not very actually okay look at this so i guess because of the way it's connected you get this interesting rotation here side okay so it will actually go all the way around 
that's good. And then you have the um, the pivot point here. So the hinge, if you will. So that's nice. About the only complaint would be, you open this up, it's red. Kind of would have been nice if they put some gold paint in there so that when you uh, rotated that, it looked good. But it's not like the worst thing in the world. Um, same with this. Like when you throw him back, they threw in, you know, a design here with gold paint. So you're not going to notice that. Had this been all red, that's just going to be glaring. Then there is virtually no <laughs> nice crotch shot. There's virtually no gap in the uh, torso here when you bend him back. That is also really nice. So well done on that. So all in all, I like the figure. Um, he's going to be very poseable. Uh, looks like he should stand pretty well. But as always, I'll use Quake Hold to keep him in place. Um, not bad. I like this. So this is the final figure in this. So the next video, we're going to put the Ironmonger together and uh, check him out, compare, you know, give him a little review, a little look over, uh, compare him to the other figures. But thank you for watching this video. Uh, please comment. I'll reply to the comments. Um, give a the thumbs up, subscribe, and come back for the final video. Check out some more videos, both uh, past and future. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.